Hello and welcome back to Football Tactics and Glory and Manchester's journey to the Premier League. Last episode, we lost a back and forth affair against Providence 4 to 3. We had we had our chances and that that's going to be a game that just really got away from us, I think. And because of that loss, we dropped from 4th to 6th. But today, we take on Concord, the number 2 team, and we are responsible for one of their two losses on the season. They're a very good team, and are looking towards getting into the second league, going from the amateur league to the second league in just two seasons, and they're likely to get it. But we still beat them in the first game, and now we play them at home, we want that season sweep. We want the season sweep of Concord. It will be very sweet after our uh, not as great performances against them in the Amateur League. Can we serve as Concord's kryptonite in this game? Uh, and we got a notification, and it snowed! Again! We are taking on Concord in the snow, just as we took on Providence last week in the snow. Now, not much to report on this Calvert. Uh, his energy is not at full, so we gotta keep track of that, especially since he's our most reliable player against Bassett, the sweeper. So, it's definitely something to keep in mind as we're trying to secure another victory here. Hilton and Crandall are still top scorers, so Scruggs and Hodges are going to be busy again, and hopefully this time it goes a little better, because they did not have their best games against Providence. So here we go. Manchester versus Concord. And the snow is falling in Manchester. We got the orange ball, so we can actually see it. And O'Keefe starts off the game passing to Calvert. And Calvert is going to do his usual break-in skill. Yeah, because Villa, Villarreal is a good goalie, so getting past him on a, on a header would be difficult, and getting past Bassett is tough enough as it is, as he showed right there by taking it away from Calvert. Now Concord has the opportunity to go on the offensive. And Crane is just moving out to the side, a little surprisingly, and passes to Hitchcock. So we're going to have O'Keefe press. Roman go for the tackle. He succeeds in getting it away from Hitchcock. And now... We don't have great options there, so we're just going to hold with Roman, see if he can keep it away, probably from Crane. Yep, they bring up Crane. He's got the advantage and takes it away from Roman. And what will Crane do with it now? Will he just control? No, he's just moving out to the middle. Their defender is getting way off base here. So we're going to move O'Keefe over. They're also going to move Edge over. And O'Keefe is going to stand there and uh, try and prevent any passes past him because of his interception skill. So Crandall moves in. And it's intercepted by O'Keefe. Will Hilton take it away? No. Hilton doesn't even try to take it. And we're going to do the pass to Roman. Roman. Turns up and will pass it to Olsen. I didn't actually realize Olsen has the better power shot, but we're going for the cannon shot. And Hale Olsen starts us off on the right note. A goal assisted by Roman. One to nothing, Manchester advantage. Tubbs will pass to Crandell. Crandell turns up field, looks for the shot, doesn't decides against it, moves off to the side, 
And now goes for the shot, and Scruggs kicks that one away. And... Dickinson is going to take it, is going to not kick it out, is going to move back to position, and is just going to hold this one. Crandell manages to take it away from Dickinson! It wasn't likely, but he'd managed, and Scruggs keeps things going. But will Crandell try again? Yes, he will, and it's not any more successful than last time. So Dickinson could go for the slide tackle. It's unlikely to succeed. So Scruggs is just going to press. Dickinson is going to go for a regular tackle. Take it away easily. And uh, is... Uh, it's not the best situation. Especially since can't pass it to Shatter. Could pass it to Hodges. That's what he's going to do. He's going to pass to Hodges. Oh! What? What? Really? I thought that's a legal pass. Never mind. Apparently, that is an, that is an illegal pass, and I have maybe just screwed over the team. So, same thing as before. One and four is uh, one and four is left. Two and five is center. Three and six is right. These are really hard to see in the snow. So six, we're going right. And it's a goal! Conquered is even the score. And that is because of a boneheaded move on the part of, of manager Rio here. So Calvert is going to break in. He does not get past Bassett. Bassett has taken it both times so far. But Calvert is motivated, so he's going to go for the aggressive tackle and can't take it away. And the pass does not get over to Tubbs. Tubbs moves up to take it. What is his next move? He's just going to move up. Edge is going to press so that Roman can take it away. Then Roman is going to. He is just going to hold this one. Kuhn will probably press and then they'll bring over someone. Oh, they're Tubbs and Kuhn will press and then they bring someone over. Hitchcock will come over to take it away. And then the last move of the half will be. Just moving off to the side. And that ends the half. One to one. Manchester and Concord. There was a penalty on Hodges for time wasting. I, th this is one of the things where I'm not actually too familiar with the exact rules of soccer. So that made it difficult for me to anticipate that. But hopefully the offense can can make up for my mistake and the defense can hold up there. It was a bad, bad choice on my part. Crandall, is he going to move off towards Dickinson again or just go for the shot? He goes for the shot, Scruggs knocks it back to him. What's his plan now? He goes for the shot again and Scruggs this time kicks it over to Dickinson. Dickinson passes to Edge. Edge will do a layoff pass to O'Donnell. And O'Donnell can't really go for the shot here, so he's just going to hold this one. And they're bringing out Bassett to try and take it away. And Bassett takes it from O'Donnell. This has been a bit of a rivalry so far. Uh, Bassett got injured on a tackle by O'Donnell at one point. 
And we're going to bring over Olsen and uh, bring up Edge. And Edge is going to press. And the pass does get to Tubbs. Tubbs can do a layoff pass to Hilton. And Hilton, this is what I was worried about. And Doss manages to save us there, taking it away from Hilton. And they're moving him back in there. So, Doss will pass to O'Keefe. O'Keefe will pass to Calvert. Calvert could go for the shot. It would be very unlikely to succeed. So Calvert's just going to hold this one, try and keep it away from Strong. There. Strong can't take it from Calvert. thinking they're gonna block off O'Donnell that's that's a good idea because that was exactly what I was going to go for and Calvert once again is going for the break-in this time he gets by just Calvert on goal the cannon shot is possible but we're gonna go for the power shot since it's more likely to su succeed and Calvert has it knocked away and he's going to go back and get it with his motivation. And he's fouled! Calvert is fouled by Crane. And they got three over there. Calvert will go in. Olsen will take position. How's that? The wall is quite intimidating here. Uh, Crane would try and intercept. We're gonna try it anyway, and it does not work. It knocks off the wall to O'Donnell. And O'Donnell could go for the shot and is going to do so. O'Donnell gets it by one and gets it by the other, and that is a two to one lead, O'Donnell! with an amazing shot to give Manchester the lead. We can still, we can win this. We really can. Tubbs passes to Crandell. He hasn't had much success so far. Can he get one by Scruggs? No, he can't. It goes to Doss. Unfortunately, Doss has terrible control, so it is easily taken right back from him. And Ruggs is going to move back. Doss is going to tackle and manages to take it away from Crandell. And now Doss will pass out to Shader. He's got good control. And they're going to use Crandell with his motivation to try and take this away. And he succeeds. And now he's going to go for the shot and Shader kicks it away. Shader. Gets the ball. He's going to do a long pass over to Edge. And O'Donnell is going to get it on the edge. Can we just run out the clock on this game? Bassett comes up. Bassett takes it away. And what's he going to do with his final possible action? Okay. Now, I could try and give us a better goal differential to end this game, but that simply... I don't want to risk fouling Bassett and giving them a chance to get back in this. Oh, never mind. They will have a chance, no matter what. So we're going to bring up Edge so he can press against Bassett. And the pass gets to Tubbs. Tubbs is probably going to do a layoff pass to Hilton. And Hilton will have a chance to tie this game. No, he won't, because Doss takes it away! Doss takes it away! And Crandell takes it, and that will end the game. Manchester overcomes the, a stupid managerial decision to win this game 2-1 to one and take the season series. A cannon shot from Olsen and a cannon shot from O'Donnell give us... 
a 2-1 to one victory. Our best player was Scruggs, and I think that is exactly right. Doss and Roman level up, as does Scruggs, who is the man of the match. Doss was second, and O'Keefe was our third. What a game. And look at that, we have an upgrade for both O'Donnell and for Calvert. Now, I didn't do this last time O'Donnell had an upgrade, and that was a mistake. So, he's going to become a right fielder, right forward. And Calvert can get plus 70% experience, and I think that that is a... Hmm, it's hard to say. I don't think we'll do fan favorite here, but the special skill trainable might be a good idea. Uh, we're gonna go with 70% experience, though. Okay, anything else on here? No. And that... Strong opponent bonus. Love that glory. Actually, we have enough glory, I think, to do another upgrade, which is great. So, Manchester. 1-2-1, two one. Louisville beat Boise 3-2, San Jose beat Topeka 1-0, Jackson crushed Montgomery 5-0, Providence beat Little Rock 3-1, and Columbia beat Montpelier 4-3, and that places us back up in fourth in the third league. We don't have much breathing room, but we've... We've had a very solid season, and I'm just hoping we can keep it going to end it. Okay, I'm going to take a look uh, first at the upgrades. Yes, we can do a glory upgrade, but I'm going to wait uh, to see what, what suggestions there are in the comments. So if you have any, please leave them down there. Like the video, subscribe for more content, and I hope you have a great day. And happy gaming.